Good morning. The Lord is my light and my salvation. Whom shall I fear? Welcome to Johnny's Bite. And I'd like to say uh, that I'm happy my colleague Parkwisi Simpson of Connect FM has been granted bail, two shorties to be justified, 50K as well. And I'm happy. Uh, congratulations to the management of Media General Esco and also to the court for uh, making this possible. We're happy. And the hashtag is on. Journalism is not a crime. I don't want to get into the details of the matter because it's before a court of proper jurisdiction or competent jurisdiction. So we'll talk about it later. But today I want to talk about national service. And there's a, a wild cry, in fact, a sharp one, within the ranks of national service personnel who are asking for their stipends, or if you like, their allowa to be increased because of the present economic situations. And we will dovetail into that shortly. But you know that national service is mandatory. It's mandatory because sometime in the 70s when we had a lot of brain drain because we had uh, Apollo 567 five, six, seven, or 587 and people, you know, couldn't find jobs there. They had to migrate. It took three universities at the time, University of Ghana, Kwame Nkrumah, University of Science and Technology and the UCC to make appeal to government that they want to contribute effectively to the socioeconomic development of the country. And indeed that was granted, was put into law. The law has been shaped over time. We do know also that the last time the National Service personnel had an increment in their stipends from 350 Ghana cities to 559 cities was in 2017. This was a decision that had been taken in 2016 and dafted into 2017. Makes public reactions asking why a government that was exiting had to now increase national service stipends or allowances, blah, blah, blah. Some others also said, well, we we're told that we're going to get better economic conditions. So if it's 559, the current situation has changed in terms of uh, economic um, nuances, then it is important that we get it changed. Now, since that time up until now, the national service uh, guys have not seen any increment in the allowances, and which is a very, very worrying trend because if you put 559 Ghana cities under the microscope of the present economic hardship that's been complained about by everybody, yesterday we did Kinkinomics, everybody is complaining about it. And I say, except those who have some or are enjoying, they are the ones not complaining. But if you put 559 Ghana cities, under that microscope, you will find that Enkoye, Enkoye crime. Now, Enkoye, because you would have expected that the people who are in power now, who yesterday we played a video for you, spoke about the economic um, freedom for his people, spoke about the fact that we're going to reduce prices on all fronts, fuel, kinky prices, and everything else, is in power. His vice president, who had had cause to complain, and even complain about the excess taxes that we have, and he says that, well, when you are not uh, running government properly, you would be reduced to borrowing, and that we're going to have a situation where we would go towards production and not taxation. We had that too. We had a finance minister, and at some point, um, seven years ago, we saw the finance minister on a demonstration with other middle-class Ghanaians, huh? They called it Occupy Flagstaff House. You remember that one? And most of those people who went on that demonstration today are in key positions, very influential positions in government. If you watch that video, uh, we don't have a lot of time. So if you watch that video, you would see them. Most of those people who defied the rain, walked through it, defied the police, because at the time, I remember the police were trying to face off with them, blocking them around the National Theater and not allowing them to come through. Most of them are in government today. So you'd have expected that, for Mr. Kenofriata, for example, who would have to receive, if there is any proposal at all, from the National Service Secretariat, the National Service Association, and all of that, to see an upgrade of the uh, allowances of national service personnel, would have averted his mind to what's happening now in terms of our economic situation. Because, obviously, as the chief spender of government, he cannot be living oblivious of what's happening. But that's not the point. The point today is a little mathematics that I want us to work at. So let's assume that I'm a national service personnel, okay? Let's assume that I'm a national service personnel and I have the, the duty, the mandate, once I had attended university in this country, I had, I have, I'm obliged to uh, attend to the nation in terms of national service. Okay, now how much do I earn? As a national service person, I earned 559 Ghana cities. That's what we're working with, is that correct? Okay, <clears throat> now 559 Ghana cities, let's do a little mathematics. Let's assume that I spend two CDs, 50 pesos every day from my house 
to my national service posting. Then I spent another two CDs, 50 pesos on my way back home. That gives us what? Five Ghana CDs. Please calculate along with me. So if I'm wrong, uh, you can tell me. My mass is faulty, but so I'll try. Now, when you go to work as a national service person, you're also a Ghanaian. You're a human being like everybody else. You eat, okay? Now, part of the things that you eat, let's assume that on this occasion as a national service person, you decide to have cocoa, one CD, okay? Cocoa made from maize, which is now more expensive, which is why cocoa has moved from 50 and 70 pesos to one CD. So you have cocoa, one CD. Then you can also decide that you're going to have Kose, okay, Kose, like two CDs, if you like, um, yes, two CDs, maybe four pieces of Kose, you're going to have that. Plus, you want to have some milk and some granuts in it, so all of that will also come to what? Um, two CDs, okay. So now you calculate that, one CD plus two CDs plus two CDs, there's just another five CDs gone, okay? That's for breakfast, great? So that's 10 CDs already gone. Now let's do lunch. Lunch, you decide to have uh, wache, maybe three CDs. Or you decide to have kinky. A ball now is two CDs, three CDs. If you are like Ima, you would want to eat to your fill. So you want to have three CDs of, of uh, a kinky. Plus, you want to buy three CDs of fish because you want to be very, very modest. Okay? If you are buying wache, if you buy three CDs of wache, you buy three CDs of fish, you'd want to add gari and macaroni toppings that's like one CD. So to be very modest, you're not buying egg, you're not buying wele. If you had all those cravings and you had that it taste for that back at home, forget about it if you're a national service person. So three plus three plus one is what? Seven Ghana CDs, okay? That is 17 CDs already for the day. You have not ended the day for lunch. Then at supper, you are living alone, national service person on your own. You have just gone to get an accommodation somewhere. You're from Accra. You've gone to some place in Sefiri or so. So in the evening, you go and find uh, your favorite Indomie or noodle joint, or you find your bread and egg person. I'm told that these days, the Indomie has moved from five CDs. It's now selling at seven CDs per pack. Okay, so you buy one. Once you buy one, that is also what? Seven Ghana CDs. This is for national service. So you add five CDs plus five CDs, that's 10. 7 plus 7 is 14. That's already what? 24 CDs. Is that correct? 24 CDs. That's what you have spent on food. But we have, we have been told to also drink water. So for every meal that you have, you drink maybe one sachet of water, which now sells at 20 pesos. Okay? Now, 20 pesos, if you are drinking one for morning, one for afternoon, one for evening, obviously we'll be told to drink about eight glasses of water. So you're buying maybe five. So let's multiply that by five. And that gives you how much? One CD, okay? Add one CD to this, that's 25 CDs on a daily basis, if you're a national service person, okay? Is the mass, is the mass okay? 25 CDs, 25 CDs on a daily basis. Now, we're done with that. So let's save 25 CDs here, which is your daily spend as a national service person. Now, 25 CDs, okay, sorry. Sorry, I'm thinking in big cash. So 25 CDs, okay? Times, how many times do they work? How many days do they work in a day? In the, in, the, in the five days a week times four weeks. So that's 20 days. Is that correct? Now, 20 days. If, if my math is good, follow me. Zero times zero is zero. Zero times zero is another zero. Zero times five is zero. Zero times two is zero. Is that correct? Now, zero times two is zero. Zero times five, uh, two times five is what? Ten. Zero, then you save the one. And then you come up here, two times two is what? Uh, four plus one, that's five, okay? Then if you calculate, that's one, na, 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 na. Then you do the, the, you do the decimal point. That's 50 CDs, okay? That's, that's 50 CDs, is that correct? That's 500. That's 500 Ghana, sorry, that's 500 Ghana, forgive me. That's 500 Ghana CDs. I should have added one zero here before, before this one. That's 500 Ghana CDs. So earlier, we had had 25 CDs per day times 20 days, and then that will give us what? 500 Ghana CDs. Now, 500 Ghana CDs is for food, okay, transport, and water. These are the three elements. But that's not what the national service people do. The national service people also spend money on utilities. Okay? So let's assume that they live in a compound house. 
they, that they rented for themselves, who come to rent. They live in a compound house that they rented for themselves. This compound house that they rented for themselves will be charging them, maybe say, 10 Ghana CDs or 20 Ghana CDs every single day for water, or every single week for a month for water. Okay, so now if they pay 20 Ghana CDs plus the 500 that we had, that is what? 520, 520 CDs. Out of 559, Ebeka, 39 CDs, correct? Okay, now you're left with 39 CDs. Let's assume now that this individual is not living, is not living in his mother or his father's home. He doesn't know any uncle around the place, so he has to go and rent. Let's be very modest and say that for every month, they are paying 50 Ghana CDs. So we have, what, 520, right? Now, the balance that's left is, what, 39 CDs, correct? If they have to pay 50 Ghana CDs rent every single month, they already have a deficit here. They have not been able to save anything, but they would have to be magicians enough to survive. So, Mr. Kenoforiata, for example, cannot be oblivious of the fact that the national service guys are suffering. Now, like he said at the trade fair, everybody is suffering. And this morning, the national service guys are suffering. What, is, what are the rules and regulations of the national service scheme itself? It says the service personnel may seek assistance from user agencies, local authorities, including community leaders, and national service scheme officers in obtaining modest accommodation. Service personnel who serve as House masters or house mistresses, in addition to their duties as teachers in educational institutions, shall be entitled to free education. So let's say that you come from um, um, Mankesim and you come to Accra. You are teaching, say, at Accra High School. That's a day school or hot cast or maybe a reality secondary school. They don't have accommodation, naturally. So if you are not a house master or a house mistress, you are not getting free accommodation. Now, we do know the accommodation situation in Accra, don't we know? If you have had to fight with all the people and all you have to spend is 559 Ghana cities, how does the government expect you to survive, to have the peace of mind, to deal with the real issues that you're supposed to be dealing with? Now, as if that's not enough, there is also the question of um, the pure water. This is the pure water I spoke about. This one sells one at 20 pesos. This is the water I spoke about, that you would have to spend up to seven cities if you want to be very modest to get. This is another watch, but this one is on a high level because if you are buying one egg, that will cost you like one CD 20 pesos or one CD 50 pesos. You are buying willy, you are buying fish, but then you are living actually with beyond your means because this one will cost you no less than 12, 15 CDs to get this one. If you add delivery, we will crab. Now, this is also another watch that's there. Now, consider the trotro. I was very modest in my analysis of the trotro because. 2 CD 50 pesos. For example, if you are coming from um, the, um, what do you call it, that Gimpa area, you're coming towards the Gimpa area, coming all the way to Legon, you pay like 2 CD 50 pesos. When you come and alight at Legon and you're coming to, say, for example, TV3 or Ministries, there's another spend that you would have to add. So I was even being very, very modest with my 2 CD 50 pesos. Now, in the, in the matter of Trotro, Sometimes you sit in the trotter and you get so thirsty you want to drink water. That's another spend. My argument this morning and is, is, to, is to the president of the republic to suggest to the president that the young people who queued to vote for you as national service personnel, given the present economic situation and given also the fact that the minimum wage had been increased and given the fact that mainline workers have gotten some cushioning, they need the monies to be able to deal with the question of national service. Because you know, there's also the rule that if you don't attend to your national service postings and you don't go to work after three months, you forfeit it and then sanctions may be dealt on you. Now imagine that the national service uh, says that the allowances have never delayed. I want to take you back to 2019, okay? 2019, the man who was in charge of the national service, MP now for Yagba Kubore, he had previously won that seat, became national service boss, lost it and won that seat. Again, is now a sports minister. Take a listen to him addressing a press conference when challenges of delays in the payment of national service allowance had been raised. Take a listen. Sometimes, and there's no any man that we have since for the past three years where we have service personnel complaining of delay of payment. It has never happened. Yeah. So that's why I'm saying maybe you are speaking from history. 
history. 19 Kojovovo, yes, the mantel. So for, let me assure you that National Service is there to the, His Excellency, the President of the Republic, because they know the contribution service personnel make to this economy and this country. And the President will not sit at Louf and allow service personnel to go through stress without being uh, uh, paid their stipends. And we will always pay the stipends promptly. We only pay those also who do the service. So we are sheer value for money. We will not just pay just because you have been deployed. You have, to be report, you have to report to post and work and be paid for the work done. We can only pay you for work done. We won't pay you just because you, you are a national service person. There is no any plans of increasing service personnel allowance. But as and when uh, the need arises, we will we'll surely communicate that to the media. But currently, there is no any plans. And I think 559, the service personnel are so happy <laughs> with it. <laughs> so this is the MP for Yagba Kukbori. He was the man in charge of uh, the national service. He's no longer there. He's at the sports ministry, youth and sports ministry. But on that occasion, two years ago, he said, the service personnel are happy. I'm not a service personnel, so I wouldn't know whether they are happy or not. But I, I can report to you now that they are not altogether excited about it. And I wish that Mr. Uh, Ases Bainchi, who is a former mayor of the uh, KMA, would do something really about it and make that proposal. Mr. President, respectfully, I'm holding your left leg and asking you how you would have survived if you were a young person at this time spending 559 cities. And you see the calculation I did, I didn't even add Saturday and Sunday because Saturday and Sunday you're at home. They will wash, they may cook, they will go to church. If they are Christians, they would have to deduct their tithe from it. Let's say approximately six, six cities from 559. So accommodation has not come. I didn't do accommodation. I didn't do tithe. I didn't do Saturday, Sunday. I didn't do offering uh, transport to and from church if they want to go and all of that. You look at the present economic situation. And you ask yourself, even if somebody dedicated their life to just eating gobe every single, uh, every single day of their lives, which will be like three CDs gobe, two CDs tatale. I hear tatale now, it's, uh, there's one CD uh, or 50 pesos for one tatale. So 50, okay, so this may look a bit exaggerated. But if the person decides that, okay, this is all I want to eat, even throughout my national service, I'm asking what kind of patriotism can we demand from them? So this is my passionate appeal on behalf of all national service personnel, more than 81,000 of them, and I'm not suggesting that all the 81,000 who are, were posted are in this situation, but you can confirm that a, a wide majority of national service personnel face this, especially when they are not afforded accommodation, especially when they would have to go for their own set of transportation, especially when they have to buy their own food, they have to buy their own water, they have to take care of their own soap, their own utilities, their own everything else. 559 Ghana cities in this present location and present situation is not good. Because you know what? Mr. Ken Oforiata organized a Kenke party some time ago. If Mr. Ken Oforiata wants to organize that same Kenke party that he organized some time ago in celebration of whatever, he would have to pay some more. So me, my bites this morning, on behalf of all national service personnel, as we have done the mathematics for you this morning, is that 559 Ghana cities, it is, uh, it is not been vetted and approved by the FDA. And we please, we plead that something be done immediately about it. Because you know what? If people are not getting the requisite amount of money that can take them to and fro their national service postings, the next point is that some may stay at home because we know what the challenges of assessment are. Some may stay at home, be collecting the money and not be going anywhere. We will be the eventual losers. If people take their monies and support themselves, they will go to work grudgingly. Maybe tomorrow we'll talk about how national service personnel in some key offices in this country, especially the state-owned ones, have been reduced to buying wache and Yokegari and Banku and all those ones. We, we can talk about those ones. We can also talk about what Mr. Dominique said at the vetting table that will have some military training for national service personnel. And I believe that that perhaps could have helped in identifying who could have done military service instead of asking people to queue. And guess what? Finally, it is part of the national service 
uh, Secretariat's own rules and regulations. It's there that there shall be military training at appropriate military establishment. Any information regarding the period, selection, procedures, etc. shall be made known to the uh, personnel at the appropriate time. Paper leadership, audio leadership, I don't know. But think about it. What has changed? Good morning.